Okay, as you know, I'm be putting metal tubing in to replace the wood. First little conflict I have here now is, as you can see, that piece of steel, that's nice and square and straight. Good stuff. But, I need to radius it. This is actually the only good piece of wood I have out of the car. But if you see this, I don't know if I can get back far enough. That needs to be radiused about that much. So how am I going to do that? Well, I think I figured it out. So as you can see, I have two of these already bent. And that matches the contour that I need really close. I mean, close enough for this job. So I know you're like, all right, how did you do it? Well, just a second, I'll show you. All right, so this is how I did it. What I have here is a bunch of scrap iron, but I got two rollers down there. This one's just a, just comes along for a ride. This one here, I kind of got a keyway ground in there. Very crude. But, uh, it's like the grinder. Made a keyway, got a key in there. This wheel here, I don't know where that came from, but it's knurled and it works perfect. And I got a wheel up here. And then obviously my shot press. You know, it's just kind of funny that the Rick Fix was showing his, uh, press. This one here I made about 15 years ago. It uses a port of power. And the way I designed this is this all comes apart and I can still use the port of power. But I will get a piece of metal in there and I'll show you how this works. So stay tuned. All right, so I got a nice piece of straight steel here. I know you're not gonna see it all, but it is straight. We get her in here like so. And just get it so she's starting on that first die there. I'll put some pressure on it. How much pressure? I don't know. Just enough to make it feel like it's doing something. This is very crude at the moment how I got this put together because I really didn't know if it was going to work or not. So yeah, I'm just using a pipe wrench to activate it. And then all you do is you roll her through. It takes about two or three times to get the right angle you want, but that's okay. It's a good exercise. And then obviously stop right before it runs over the edge. Let the pressure up a little. Slide it on back through. We'll give it another kink. You don't want to go too much, I found, because it just kinks the pipe. This is pretty thin wall tubing. So you don't want to get too crazy with the pressure. But just enough to make it do something. And I'll do it again. I don't have any bearings in this system. I wish it did. It'd be a little bit easier probably to roll. see this or not but it is curling up just the way I want it to so I'll do one more pass on it and I think we might have it pretty close so stay tuned there anyway, I'll give you a different view of this You beat. One. 
hunk of bent tubing. I don't know if you guys can see this, but we'll go match it up and see what it looks like. Hopefully it's close. Alright, so this is the one I just did, and I went too far. If I bring it up to this one here, like so, I'm too much. Not a problem. You can just flip this around, run it through backwards, and she'll take some of it out. Because I've been doing that already, so. But I think that'll work. So if you can see it, now it's got a nice arch to it. This one back here is a straight one. So you can see the difference. And this one's my arch one. So the plan now is I'll cut these to lengths, drop them in this reset. Once I make a piece that goes in here, this is all ties together. But this will be my roof bolts, and uh, it'll give the roof that nice concave look like it should have with the wood. So a little luck. That'll work. So it's just, just a bunch of junk laying around. I was able to make this work. I mean, hook a 5 8 shaft. That side's bent. I don't even know what this was for. And like I said, this wheel here with the knurl in it, that worked out perfect. I had a couple other wheels here that worked out good and greased them up. And this bunch of scrap iron. Some engine hooks. That is my guide. And obviously the, the trusty uh, Matt Cole shop. Matt Cole tools. <laughs> shop press. Seems to work. And yes, Mr. Heavy Chevy, it weighs a ton and a half. So, <laughs> that's it. Talk to you guys later.